was supposed to be up. Oh, oh, forget it. It's stuck. Let me out. Dillis, wake up. Oh, sniff this. Should I get the party horns now? I smell smoke. So do I. Oh, no. I forgot to turn off the oil. Evacuate. Quick, everyone. Head for the door. Abandoned cake. I'll call Fireman Sam. What's going on? Oh, no. My Norman's stuck in that cake. Don't worry, Dillis. I'll push the cake out. Ow! Stop bumping me around! Oh, no! It's too big! A fire at the Whole Fish Cafe? And Norman Price is trapped in a giant cake? A fire at the Whole Fish Cafe! And Norman Price is trapped inside a giant cake! My poor Norman! Uh, Mike's still in there trying to get Norman out! Stand back, everybody! Oh, it's no good! I can't get him out! Stand back, Mike. I'll do it. Oh, surprise! Oh, dear. Come on, Norman. Let's get you out of here. Are you the one millionth customer, Sam? There's a fire at Dillis's shop. Ooh, ooh. And there's a fire at the Whole Fish Cafe as well. We have two emergencies. A fire at the Cut Price store and a fire at the Whole Fish Cafe. Sam, you and Elvis deal with the shop. Penny and I will head for the cafe. Right, sir. It's an electrical fire, so first I'm going to turn off the power. I'll turn the power off, sir. and his go-kart have ended up in the sea? Hasn't that happened before? bobbing this Halloween, but it's time for some Norman bobbing instead. Norman bobbing? How do you do that? Well, you're allowed to use your hands, but you have to lean out really far. 
are, and keep your balance, and gotcha! You're here! You have to stop that train before it hits the buffers at the end of the line! No problem, Mr. G. Hold the board, Sam! I'm on the floor! Look! Up there! It's Tom Thomas in his helicopter! He's lowering somebody in a harness! very heavy, and it could collapse at any moment. Elvis, spray water at the base of the tower. Penny, drive Venus up to the front of the train. Roger that, Sam. <laughs> Stay back, everyone. Stay with me, you two. Now drive, Penny! And he pulled her out of the way just in time. <laughs> the story shed at the train station's on fire. The story shed at the train station is on fire. Oh my. There she Wait for me! I just knew this would happen. I thought I checked everything. It was a big pinwheel. It's not supposed to be nailed on that tight. Page seven, paragraph two. Better step on it, Sam. Okay, everyone, stand back, stand back. Oh, Betsy. Turn it on, Penny. Bessie, is she okay? Oh, my Bessie. Still in perfect working order, sir. Mandy Flood is missing on Ponty Pandy Mountain. Mandy Flood is missing on Ponty Pandy Mountain. <laughs>
double harness, Tom. See you at the bottom, Sam. There you go, Mandy. Safe and sound. But I don't think you should go mountain climbing on your own again. The mountains are a very dangerous place. I'm sorry, Sam. I just really wanted to climb Ponty Pandy Mountain. Well, I think you need a bit more practice first. I know, Sam. But don't you worry, Mandy. You'll make it one day. And I'll give you lessons anytime you want. No problem. Thanks, Moose. A group of Ponty Pandy citizens are stranded in the middle of the lake with a monster on the loose. together already. Oh boy, do we ever. Oh, Mom, I didn't even get to see the monster. I bet Sarah could tell us all about it. Mm -hmm. I didn't really see the monster. I just pretended to. But Sarah, you scared everyone and put them in a lot of danger. I know, Uncle Sam. I'm sorry. I won't ever tell stories again. But Sarah, why would you say such a thing? I wanted you to have lots of passengers on your train, Granddad. Well, don't worry, Sarah. I forgot how beautiful the mountains are. I know I'll be coming back here again on Gareth's train. <laughs> me too. And me. And us. Well, Gareth, looks like you're gonna be a busy guy, eh? <laughs> Mike Flood is hanging off a cliff clinging to a giant guitar? And I thought this would be a quiet night. Tom, this is Sam. We're gonna need some backup. Roger that. <laughs> hold on, Mike! Sam will be here soon! I can't hold on much longer, Elvis! <laughs>
time to use some equipment properly, Elvis. Let's find the source of the fire, Penny. There. Quick, we need to work together on this. How do you think those boxes caught fire, Sam? Ah. Right. Turn the main power off. now, Charlie. I think the twins might have got lost in the snow. Right. Let's call Fireman Sam. Oh, what a marvelous contraption. Oh, yes. Oh, an emergency. James and Sarah are missing in the snow. James and Sarah are missing in the snow. This is just the job for Saturn. Sam, you take Mercury, Penny and Elvis, you go in Venus with Saturn. Keep in radio contact. Any sign, Elvis? Not yet, Sam. Uh, wait, what's that? That could be them. But there's three of them. Sam, I think I've got them. There's a cave in the woods 300 yards east from where you are. Roger that, Elvis. James! Sarah! We're in here, Uncle Sam. Don't worry. I'll have you out in no time. Sam, how did you find us? Cool. Is it a UFO? No, it's a special camera that uses heat to find people. Wow! Penny, Elvis, Saturn's found them. Everyone's safe and sound. Whoa! Are you okay, Uncle Sam? I'm fine. You look just like a polar bear. Mike could be down there injured and freezing. We have to get to him, and fast. But that slope is too dangerous for Jupiter to drive down, Sam. You're right, Penny. Hmm. Only one thing for it. I need a blanket, a rope, a warm drink, and your snowboard, Norman Price. Wow, look at that! Fireman Sam's better than Billy Ball Blizzard. Mike, are you okay? Sam? I'm fine, but I'm so cold! I'm going to lower you down a blanket and some hot cocoa to keep you warm until we can get you out of there. Penny, it's okay, Mike's not hurt, but he's fallen into a hole, so we're going to need Tom Thomas to winch him out. I'll put a call out right away. Here comes Tom Thomas now. We'll have you out in no time, Mike. I'm lowering the harness now, Sam.
Super steady, Tom. I'll try using the grappling hook. Brought you all, Sam. Chewing culprit. Good work, Sam. Oh, oh, that's a relief. There you go, Lamikins. I think you need to find something a bit safer to eat. Nice to see you back on the ground, Lamikins, old friend. I was getting worried. Dillis, Trevor, what's it like in there? Oh, it's getting very snug and warm in here. Why don't you take your scarf off, Trevor? Help! <laughs> oh, Norman? Sarah and James are trapped on the lake, and the ice is, is melting. I'll call Fireman Sam. And now it's time for the most totally excellent piece of winter rescue equipment ever! <laughs> Sarah and James are stuck on the frozen lake, and the ice is melting. Sarah and James are stuck on the frozen lake. Don't worry, you two. Fireman Sam is on his way. Elvis, the bag. I'm so cold. Don't let go, James. Penny, it's an inflatable rescue path. Oh! Whoa. Whoa! Tie it to the end of the dock, Penny, and then hold it steady. Sarah, James, it's okay. We're coming to get you. Done. It's going to sink. Don't panic. I'm here. I've got you.
They took the boat downstream. Okay. Penny, launch Saturn in that direction. It'll find Steel and the others by sensing their body heat. Elvis, I need you to direct me through the dark. Okay, Sam. Saturn's found them. <gasps> but look, the boat is right next to the waterfall. Sam needs to hurry. Come in, Sam. The rowboat is at the top of the waterfall. You need to head 200 yards north, Sam, and quick. On my way. <laughs> it's going to snap. I need you to tie the end of the rope to the boat! I'm sorry, I, I wanted to be fun, but it led us to dangerous waters. And I'm sorry, too. Next time, don't go too far and always check where you're rowing. Oh, we will, Sam. We won't make that mistake again. <laughs> That's Mike. Sounds like he's in trouble. Great balls of fire. Help! Help! Get me down! Hang on, Mike. I just need the ladder. Don't worry. I've got him, Sam. Well done, Trevor. I can't hang on much longer. I'm fine. I'm fine. Thanks to Sam. Thank goodness. And did you get a chance to fix my gutters? Huh? Mm -hmm. Well, what do you think? Is that it? Uh, uh, no. Of course that's not it. Uh, mm. What he needs is a nice big mug of coffee. Ooh, I'll have one if you're brewing some dillies. Uh, what? <gasps> Oh, no! I must have left the parking brake off! Stand back! <laughs> oh, great job, Sam! You saved the day! Again! Lucky you were off duty! Well... Well, um, watch this! Uh-oh! Uh-oh! Oh! Oh, excitement over. Back to work. Yes. Time for me to get on with all my little jobs. Help! Hmm? I'm stuck! Norman? Uh-oh. Someone else in trouble. Help! Mom! I can't move my feet! Oh, dear. What have you gone and done now? It's the quick dry and cement. It only takes a few minutes to set. Don't worry, Norman. I'll get you out. Huh? Ah. Norman Price, what am I going to do with you? Sorry, Mom. All I ask for is a bit of peace and quiet. Hmm, that sounds like a smoke alarm. And that sounds like an aerosol can. <gasps> My shop? I'll call the fire department. Dillis, stop. You must never enter a burning building. Don't worry, Sam. I'll go home and call from there. It'll be quicker for me to run back to the station and get help. Hurry, Sam! When he hears that fire alarm, Sam is all.